Hello and thank you so much for watching Mommy Did You Know. I really hope that you will subscribe. My button's on the bottom, it's also in the video. I have so many amazing videos that will be sure to be a blessing for you and your family. So for today, we're going to talk about your baby's second night. I just wanna talk a little bit about behaviors that you would expect for your newborn to have from the birth and delivery up until the first few days of life. So a lot of people don't realize that the baby's second night is kind of like the fiesta night. What you're gonna start realizing is your baby's going to wake up, it's gonna be a lot more active and alert. So for the first day, once your baby's born, the first hour or so is the active phase. It's the golden hour. That's the time to start your breastfeeding. That's the time to start your skin to skin. You really wanna start your bonding experience with your baby. Once that happens, your baby's gonna go from about 12 to 24 hours hibernation. <laughs> Basically, your baby's going to hibernate for the next day or so. It, it was really hard work to be able to be delivered. Whether you had a vaginal or cesarean delivery, the same is going to be with both babies. Usually, they're very, very sleepy that first day. After they wake up, it's the fiesta night. That second night, they wake up and they want to do something called cluster feeding. Now, mom, I just want to say that that's normal. Cluster feeding is very normal and I just want you to be aware of it. Now, moms, a lot of times that second night, they will start supplementing just because they think that their baby's not getting enough or they don't have their milk, that it hasn't came in yet. You have colostrum, all right? Your colostrum basically was in your body even while you were pregnant. Now, once your baby is born, you might not feel those changes just because all of that milk has been in your system for a long time. It, it has already been producing, your breasts have already been changing. Now, once your baby hits that second day and they start cluster feeding, a lot of moms, they think, oh no, the baby's feeding because the baby's hungry. But what I want you to know is that babies don't only feed because they're hungry, but actually the majority of the time they are feeding for comfort and they just want to feel safe. They want to feel secure and with you. Babies in the beginning, they learn a lot about the world by sucking. Have you noticed everything goes in the baby's mouth? Everything goes in the baby's mouth. And it's the same with mommy. They're scared. It's their second day. They're going through kind of like a separation anxiety. What just happened? I was with mom. Now all of a sudden, um, I'm taken away. I don't know what's going on. They're putting me in this crib. What is going on? So that's why skin to skin really helps and breastfeeding helps. And actually cluster feeding is very, very good as well for you because the more you breastfeed your baby, the more milk you will produce. That is because breastfeeding actually your milk supply is based on a negative feedback system when your breasts are empty you start producing more milk so the more the baby is stimulating the more hormones you will release to help with your milk production so your baby might have been very active that first hour that and then the baby probably slept for that next day and then usually they wake up on that second night and that's normal. Now ways to get through the second nights, that is very, very important. Number one is realize the importance of skin to skin. A lot of times your baby, all you really have to do is check that diaper, burp the baby, put the baby skin to skin, and usually that calms them down. Then of course you can just on demand Put the baby to the breast now for how much you want to put the baby to the breast well sometimes you want a steak and sometimes you want a salad it's the same thing with the baby sometimes they want to be on for five minutes and sometimes they want to be on for 30 minutes or 45 minutes it's just that was the steak feeding so what you got to do is just watch your baby's feeding cues see what they want and then go from there another thing that you can do besides checking the diaper and burping and skin to skin is you guys can take turns Sometimes when I worked night shifts in the hospital, I would see mom and baby up all night with the dad, you know, all three of them. And then I come in the morning and they're like, whoosh, like what just happened? So what helps is take turns. Mom, you can breastfeed the baby, give the baby to daddy. And then when mom is breastfeeding, daddy can sleep. And then when daddy has the baby, mommy can sleep. But one thing that you really want to look out for is that you are not sleeping with your baby. Did you hear that? I just wanna make sure that you heard that. Do not sleep with your baby. And then worse than sleeping on the bed with the baby is sleeping on the couch with the baby because the baby has a lot more likelihood of, of falling. And then I'm gonna be honest, I will let you know, 
I am very adamant about this because I know that breastfeeding and even pumping causes you to be very sleepy. And I worked night shift for a long time and I remember uh, one time I came back from a night shift and I was breastfeeding my child on, on the um, on the chair and then I must have fallen asleep. And then all of a sudden here, boom, ha 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 ha. I'm a nurse. I literally wrote the book on safe sleep. I literally tell my patients all the time. And you know what, it happened to me. My baby fell, thankfully it w the baby was okay, but it happens. So I cannot stress enough the importance if you are sleepy to give your baby to somebody else, especially that second night, the third night, when you are so tired, you're so sleepy, everything's a blur. I'm not even sure if my patients remember me sometimes just because uh, that second night is such a blur. But you know, if you are feeling sleepy, you need to hand your baby off to your support person, your, your spouse or your family, if your mom's staying with you, whoever's staying with you, make sure that if you are sleepy that you hand the baby off. So our second night, just to recap, is when the baby starts waking up and it's not necessarily because the baby's hungry. Sometimes it's because the baby just wants to be with you or wants to be comforted and, and that's fine. You know, Babies are too young to be spoiled. We're gonna give them all the love and affection because we love them so much. And then to get over the hurdle of the second night, um, one is feed on demand. You wanna check your baby's diaper. You can burp the baby, put the baby skin to skin. And then of course, hand the baby off. If you are getting tired, I want you to give, feel comfortable. And then of course, I want you to be open with your nursing staff. If you are really, really tired and everybody's tired in the room, let your nurse know as well. I would much rather take a baby uh, when you are feeling when you are feeling sleepy, of course, if, if you want us to, we always will take, a, take the baby for you for a little bit so you can take a nap. We are here for you. All right, we are here for you. We are your support. And I want you to feel open and honest with your staff because that really is important and that's the key of good healthcare. So I really hope that this video was a blessing to you and your family. Don't forget to subscribe. Did you subscribe? I just wanna make sure you subscribe right now to Mommy Did You Know? And you can always check out my website, mommydidyouknow.com for even more wonderful information about you and your family and your baby.